back to life, back to reality. Welcome back everyone. I have returned to home ground, totally recharged to take on another day. Maldives has been such a fabulous experience for all of us. We tried to capture every bit of that paradise for you all to see and one day visit. For all the behind the scene pictures of our trip, do join our Facebook fan page and take a look. But for now, we go back to bringing you the latest and the finest happenings in fashion. We continue our exclusive coverage of the Dubai Fashion Week and bring you the grand finale of Day 5. Established designers like Tina G. Vedi, Amber Feroz and Frills by Ash proudly displayed their creations to a packed audience. It's all about the woman of today being a winter diva. Um, basically, I feel like a woman in her own skin should feel comfortable in what she wears and looks glamorous, look like a diva every single day of the week, whether it's morning, night, any time of the week where she has to go to any party, she can look fabulous. took the stage by storm, his beautiful and flowing garments wowed women of all ages. This collection, every single piece that I've created that could be wore with skirt, top, jeans, and especially those evening gowns, they are like, you could wear them anywhere. It was a salute to the marine life. We came up with the theme Love Underwater. All the outfits were basically inspired by the you know, fishes and other creatures of the sea. As the show came towards an end, the drama effect on the ramp only grew. Manzar and Hirsch, Z for Z, Abato by Fern One, and finally, Sabbe Sachi were waiting in the wings to conclude this mega fashion event. The rich embroidered haute couture from Mamzar and Hirsch created a ground effect with the use of a traditional colour palette. collection is all about the colors of the rainbow. The idea being to show people that they should be more experimental with the colors that they wear because every color has a specific energy and a resonance and it can affect your entire being. They're all cool, simple ways of just raising your energy and as well as looking beautiful, you can feel something much deeper inside. My inspiration is based on this movie, Merlin. I'm really inspired with a lady of the lake called Vivian. She's very soft, very pale, uh, and very, yet very strong. And finally, 
the grand finale of the one week long eclectic surge of creative energy sabbe sachi took the stage with his mind blowing creations and put up a grand finale to the stupendously successful fashion week in dubai and remember that you saw it all exclusively on your favorite style guide high life dubai This collection is a mix of eclectic clothes that has been inspired by my travel all over the world. It gets inspired by Ghana, a little bit by Tibet, uh, by India, by uh, lots of Egypt and Africa, and a lot of 1920s Paris. My dear friends was a full round up on what goes on at Dubai Fashion Week. The glimpse behind the scenes, the catwalks, the designers, the celebrities and the entire shindig. Your style team of High Life Dubai has worked very hard to cover all the happenings in Dubai and also globally. Your emails, comments and suggestions are encouraging and they make our team work so much harder to remain the most stylish show in town. That's all we have time for tonight. Stay connected on Facebook or Twitter and log on to YouTube to watch any episode that you've missed. I'll see you all next week for another dose of glamour. Till then, get used to living the high life because remember, all of us deserve to. This is your host Omar saying bye. The Maldives is yeah. The Maldives is. Now I'm going to क्या है इसका नाम क्या अरे इसका बोट का नाम क्या है कायाकिंग ना आई एम गोइंग टू कायाकिंग फॉलो मी